Hello, today we're looking at the correct usage of a taper tool to help in the prolonging the life of the electrode, of the, of the shank, I'm sorry, that supports the electrode that it's connected to. The taper tool is used, but we have to require safe utilization of your machine. Make sure the air pressure is on and the water is turned off. First of all, you're going to remove the cap with your proper cap extractor tool that removes the cap without damaging uh, the cap or the shank. Once the cap is removed, you pick up your taper tool and you examine the top of the thread. Are there any big burrs there? You want to get rid of them. A taper is very delicate, so you want to have it maintained as little bit as much of attention as possible. And the taper tool prolongs the life of a shank, but it can't repair or do miracles uh, and, and for a shank that's uh, highly damaged. You put a, a taper tool on, goes on very easy. You turn it about a quarter of a turn, and then you inspect it. It should be enough. Sometimes you may have to do a little bit more. You look at it and see if there's a lot of damage on the, around the shank. Chances are a quarter turn, lightly, is going to be enough. If you've used a great deal or your shank is really heavily damaged, it is possible that you're going to have to file down a little bit of the top of the shank because obviously the taper tool removes copper and you're going to be decreasing the diameter of your cone. Likewise, if it's really worn or it's a really short taper, the potential is that you might have to remove a little bit of the copper at the bottom of the shank because you need a quarter, an eighth of an inch between the bottom of the taper tool and when the shank gets to its nominal diameter. And then, of course, when your electrode is finished and you're going to re repair it and you're happy with it, you install the electrode. And the idea is to make long life. You want to use a leather mallet to replace your cap, and you do it gently. You don't hammer electrodes a great deal. You're going to damage the electrodes, and you're going to damage the shank. And that's going to increase your costs over time. Okay? Thank you.